This time yesterday, we were warning you about the potential for storms. Today, we're getting a clearer picture of the damage left behind. We have a, a map of what has happened across Kansas and Missouri with several reports of downed trees, hail, tornado damage, problems with people's homes. Our team coverage starts with Fox 4's Lexi French. That's right. She's live near 291 in Truman Road in Independence near a sinkhole. Lexi, what can you tell us? That's right, Crystal. It is a very large sinkhole. It's just right behind me. Now it's located on a utility side road, but it's very close to Highway 291. MoDOT doesn't own or maintain the road where the sinkhole formed, but because of its proximity, MoDOT has been uh, notified of the sinkhole. In the last two weeks, KCI has recorded over six inches of rain. That's the third most rainfall during that same time period in Kansas City weather history. The Missouri Department of Transportation was made aware of the sinkhole on a privately owned road at the end of last week due to its proximity to Highway 291. In a statement to Fox 4, MoDOT said we're currently monitoring the situation and assessing it daily to see if any state right of way is affected. We will inform the public if a determination is made to close lanes for safety reasons. Storms over the last several weeks have caused plenty of other damage. I believe it had to be like 75 or above because the house was shaking and it felt like the siding was coming off. Um, so instantly I got up and I grabbed my grandbaby and I told my daughter get up because something's going on. Monday night winds picked up a gazebo in the Eagle Crossing neighborhood in Blue Springs. It crashed into a nearby townhouse, shattering the glass door and rattling neighbors. And then we hear the bam. Um, and it busted all this window here. No sirens were going off. The sirens didn't go off until after, after this was here about 15 minutes later, and that's when the sirens came off. So I had an eight-year-old and a five-year-old, and needless to say, we were extremely scared. You know, they were shaking because nobody knew what to do, and we didn't really know what it was. Fortunately, no one was hurt when the gazebo crashed into the Eagle Crossing townhome. Well, and MoDOT will be assessing the situation daily, but at this time there haven't been any changes that have been made to Highway 291. But again, they will be assessing uh, this sinkhole daily and um, looking at any possible safety issues that could come from that. And our storm damage continues now with Fox 4's Kelly Peltier.